Welcome back to Mad Cardigan and our continuing playthrough of Skyrim Clear the Realm. Uh, we're standing here talking to Kodlak with a couple of our buddies and we're going to dump this uh, Hagraven witch's head into this fire so that we can help out our buddy Kodlak here. He's going to turn into a big red dog which is going to try to eat me. So let us hope that... Uh, ooh, that was a pup right there. And for some reason, Lydia is standing there like a doofus, not helping at all. Oh, this has the potential to be shit right here. Oh, damn it. And Ayala was almost useless. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Well, that dog is relentless. Okay, let's think about this. I'm not dying here today. And, of course, I don't have the correct things. Where the hell is my sword? Shit. Uh, okay. I guess bow it is then. Lydia, I would really appreciate some help. Really appreciate some help. Don't let him kill me. Don't kill me. This thing's not even that tough. He just, oh, he hit hard. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I know my health is low. Not today, pal. Fucking dog. I'm just chugging these things. Better try something. Else. That thing's not. Uh, and watch, I'll probably kill Lydia while I'm at it. Or did Lydia get involved at the end there? Thanks a lot. Fucker. You are so fired. Are you saying something? I can't hear you. Oh, I love the ladies, but... Greeting, shield. And so slain the beast inside of Yeah, and now the long-winded ghost continues. The other harbingers remain trapped by hearsay. Perhaps from Sovngarde, the heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your vessel. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. Right. Got me an escort business. I'm the madam now, bitches. Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? He is. And you need to dress a little more provocatively. You right. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. You're wearing too much makeup, too. I think there's a chest up here. I played this many times without ever looking around, and I didn't even know that the shield of Isgrimor was up here. It's a pretty good shield. Ooh, fancy new bow. I like that. And some decent robes, value-wise. That was a good chest for me. And my type of weapon in it. I don't know if the game senses what you use most and gives you that, or if it's just random. Probably random. Yeah, might want to get my sword going, just in case I need it. I could have used it just then, boy. That was a close one. Much closer than I expected. But I persevered. And the best part about this is now that you're the leader of the companions, Something has shifted in all of the uh, the folks that run around in uh, the hall can now be your follower. And so I think I want me a little bit of Bilkus, Mr. Two-Handed Monster. He's not the greatest companion in the game, but for my level, he is more than enough to let me sit back and pick off people with a bow. And I'm pretty sure there's no shortcut out of this place, which is unfortunate. It has you running all the way back. I've ran back so many times, I've got it pretty much memorized, but it can be a little... A little complicated. It's a pretty long trek. 
This was a oop, ran right past that first time. It's a pretty big dungeon overall. Pew. Oh, God, there you are, buddy. Over. I wouldn't have expected someone like you to yeah, be. I really don't care about anything you have but to say. But Godlike trusted your judgment. And so, so you heard, I. huh? Come on. Looks like you got oh, someone that's right. already. Oh, I'd be so happy to fire Lydia. You I'm right fuck behind me, you. you almost got me killed in that last fight. I'll head back home if you need me. Mm-hmm. You're a maid now. Come to me with questions. I know. Let's not waste any time. Your sword and your shield. We've stopped. What is it? And I, since you're a two-hander and what all you, you have is a take? steel sword, uh, I think I can give you uh, Wuthrad. Now the the elf part is kind of odd, you know. It's only Lead on, you know then. against elves, but I guess in Skyrim that's the big deal. You know the 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 elves kind of broke a treaty or something like that. But it was it was like the Nords and the elves were at war, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But I wish there was a a little bit better power on Wuthrad because it is such a such a cool you know unique weapon. Be careful. Look at these stones. The ancestors yeah, look knew at my how stones. to build, no doubt. Alrighty. Let's head on back to town. The pimp is back, everyone. The male madam. Change the name, change the branding. It's not going to be your Vasker. It will be like your Whacker or something like that. A little more catchy. Okay, need to. You know how it is. Got to clear this inventory. Didn't get much loot, actually, I don't think, because most things I fought in there were ghosts. So, you're not running around with a, a shit ton of weapons or anything. We used a lot of arrows. Man. There's like a hundred of them, I think. Which is fine. Okay, now let us see what's next on our plate. So we have the brothel now. That's one quest line finished. Let's go along the main quest line. We're, we're not far into it, so this is quite a little trek that we have to go. I'm sure we'll run into some shit along the way. I know at the very least there's a a troll or two. And I hate trolls, as Willow would say. Not a fan of myself, Mr. Warwick. Good movie, Willow. Old one, but a goody. God bless Val Kilmer. My namesake, Mad Cardigan. Ooh, scout helmet. Okay, that's that's one of the newer armors, but like I said they're just not they don't have as much oomph as the original stuff. You know, I've never even checked if the, the stats were better. Oh, okay, that's uh I think that's an upgrade. The plate armor. Anything else is just meh. Thanks, Talos. Yep, that is a step up. I have to start smithing at some point, trying to upgrade these weapons a little bit. So I think dwarven, and, you know, the bows and stuff I'm about to start getting and... Oh, oh, sh shit. See, that's, that's what they usually do. They just 
dump or you know fall on me real quick. Oh, it's not it's not it's not Seem like it. Who's he shooting fire at? Who are you fighting? Hello? Oh shit, there's a giant over there. There's a giant camp. Okay, okay, okay. That was a toughie. He's a toughie. Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta we, we, we can wear him down a little bit. We can wear him down. Oh what the hell was that? Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Oh that giant catapult my ass into the stratosphere. Yeah, I can fight the dragon and a giant all at the same time. Why don't y'all fight each other? Leave me the hell alone. Ooh, damn, somebody hit him with the dragon. I bet it was that giant. No, sir. That's a dynamic duo I would not, not beat. No way. God, why was he even over there? He, I, I, we weren't that close to it. Whew. Okay, good sneak seal. That saved me right there. But, oh, shit. Where is Vilkas? That giant's just wandering off. Okay. Guess the the dragon wandered off. Guess he didn't want no part of that uh, giant, but I didn't get a soul, so he wasn't dead. Hmm, that was an interesting exchange. That is not normally how that goes, but I guess if you're standing next to a damn giant camp and a dragon lands, that's just bad luck on your part. You are fucked at that point. Good thing he didn't drag his mammoths with him, too. Shit. Oh, please, God, don't tell me I killed Vilkas. I didn't hit him. He shouldn't be able to be killed. He can be downed, but... Uh, you know what? We'll have to wait until we get to a, a loading zone. See if he catches up. That's usually how you have to retrieve lost companions. Since they don't have a marker where you can find them. I think there are mods and stuff that, that you can use to remedy that, but... Oh, you're warning me I got you. I don't want no beef with you guys right now. No problemo. I got a long walk ahead of me. Okay, well this journey had a rough, rocky start. You just gotta kinda pick your way over to... Oh, hello, who are you? Thank now I'm gun shy with I've everybody. I've been wandering now. alone for so long. I thought I'd never see another soul again. I was kidnapped by these bandits weeks ago. They locked me up in the towers near Mistwatch. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while oh, the guards slept. Hopefully, this is just a map but now, marker. I'm completely lost. Can you help me, please? Yep. There's a mammoth camp right oh, behind me over you. there. But I should be fine They'll now help that you. you've shown me the way. But those bandits have to be stopped. They're at Mistwatch. Here, let me show you on your map. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Don't stare at the giant's toes. They don't like that. Oh, ah, getting here is such a pain in the ass. I've done it many times and come from many different ways, but it's normally just a really long hike up a mountain. A long winding trail. Oh shit. Okay. Wolves. Detected. Who's Oh Vilkas, my baby doll is back. Just in the nick of time. That thing kicked me out of my, my view again. Hmm. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Boy, it's good to have Vilkas back though. I was afraid I'd lost him. I have lost Vilkas in the past, and he's one of my better low-level followers, so I'm not a, not a fan of that. I'm not sure what level he goes up to. Maybe he's a 40 or a, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, 
I'm running. Your cardio day. Wolf armors. Getting all sticky. Riding up. Yep, when you gotta climb a mountain like this, the trail will wind. Put guardrails up. Pretty cool. So you don't lose control of your horse. And go over the edge. Oh shit, there's a dead goat. Things don't die on their own around here. I wonder what did it. Try to speed this up. No, y'all don't want to see this long jog. Long jog. Okay, here we go. Damn troll. Gotta go up that road over there on the right. There's a troll in a cave down there. See him hopping around? The problem with trolls is they regenerate over time. So I wonder what kind of sneak... Da oh shit, boy. Saw that coming, didn't he? I wonder what kind of uh, sneak damage I can get on him. Get some good distance between us. Oh, okay, that was a decent hit. If I can do that a few times. He's on the move now, and you knew I'm not hitting him on the move. Yep. And look how much he's regenerated. He's almost full health again. Oh, come on, that was a hit. Get a little bit closer. I wish he'd try to come get us. I don't know if he'll go in the water, though. It's actually kind of good for me. Unless he runs off. Uh, this may be pointless. Okay, Vilkus is climbing in here. There we go. Let's pick him apart. Let's get him, Vilkus. You'll hit him. Oh, watch out, man. That's just brilliant NPCs right there. You know I'm shooting at something. You step right in front of me. Oh shit, where'd he go? Oh, come on. Draw distance can't be that bad. I'm across this water, and he's just going to materialize right in front of me. Come on, we're just letting him regenerate all the way back up. Damn, they regenerate fast too. Come on, you fucker. He popped back into his cave, maybe? Or did he just keep going? If he keyed on another animal or something, he might have chased it. Since he never did actually find... Oh, yep, there's a dead goat. Looks like it's got some troll teeth marks in it. Yep, there's that son of a bitch. Oh, he's coming. Is he coming this way? Yeah. He's acting like he sees me. I think he sees Vilkus. Come on, Vilkus. Do some van damage before he gets too close. Yeah, see, if it was just me doing this, holy shit, I'd be running already. You can't win this. I don't think you can tough talk the troll, man. Oh, oh I gotta watch it. Test out that new axe, man. Quack! Ooh. Works well on trolls as well as elves, huh? Good job, buddy. He doesn't whiff at everything like, like his brother Farkas does. I don't know why Farkas' aim is so bad. I guess he gets knocked back and it's like... I think we've seen it in this playthrough. There will be a downed opponent and he will just whiff over their head three times. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Clement? This is a little side mission before Passing you start climbing this damn mountain. This guy will ask you to take some uh, 
Mostly supplies food up there. supplies like dried it's fish a decent and amount of meats. coin too. I think you know, it's like things that keep fresh well, it can for a be long like time. Like 750 the gold. Graybeards tend not to get out just much. Just to carry something and stick meaning. it in the chest up there. You're going that way anyway. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Yeah. I'm going to show you the really? toll it's going to take. Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Sounds simple enough. Be Aren't the careful up there. Expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm I think he'd certain. tell you, but watch yourself going up there. He must be a badass. For the stuff that I run into on the way up, if he does that every time he has to go deliver supplies, I wouldn't mess with old Klimek. Oh, the goat trail. Come on. Yep, and man, he snuck up on me. Shit, I thought it was a little higher than that. And fumble fingers. I just shot underneath him, didn't I? Get him. Boom. That's good damage. That's good damage. I like it. Good job, Vilkus. Way to go, man. Okay, might as well. Show me new gloves. Love that plate armor. That's some cool shit. A little restoration experience. Can never hurt. Especially if I keep chugging uh, health potions like I did a minute ago, I'm going to be needing that healing spell. I don't know if any of you have ever done this mission before, but it is quite a climb. I'm sure someone has actually counted the steps. <laughs> and if you go with all, every one of these blocks, hell, it may be 7,000. God, who knows? All I know is you get hung up on them all the time. It's great physics. Okay, you little followers are like all praying at shrines and stuff. pretty fun I've talked to them before I don't believe they do anything for you they may just give you a little info maybe just lore guys I think I've actually drug enemies to them in some playthroughs I have a feeling yep okay we're getting to the levels we're seeing ice wraiths now it's not just wolves and stuff up on the scenery. Boy, that would be nice. Oh, yeah. nice dodge. These things can be hard to hit. Can't really tell they're hitting back. Vilkus, you're impressing me, buddy. Oh. Okay, iron arrow. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Essence, that's pretty valuable. And some ingredients. Thought I heard a dog. Yep, I sure did. Ice wolf. These aren't regular wolves. Okay, Vilkus, I was just bragging on you, man. You're just going to let that thing chew on your ass? I get it. You're wearing wolf armor, and so you can't kill a wolf. Is that it? Oh, that is ridiculous. And he's even vocalizing that he's being attacked, but he doesn't. he's not swinging. Lovely Bethesda AI. Right. Get a little chilly. And more goats. I've actually been attacked by a dragon on this hill before on these steps. Like up in here. It, it was a pain in the ass. Because there's nowhere to go. Not having a good time that day. That coat got under my feet. Do that a thousand times, that'll never happen again. Tripping on goats. I don't know who the sadist was that thought up this mission. I hope they made him do all these steps by himself. 
or herself as punishment. Well, that's good, Bob. You got 7,000 steps. Oh, that's awesome. Get to work, buddy. We'll see you on Monday. Don't disturb them. They're at prayer. Okay. At the top of this, there is an ice troll. And I think they are tougher than their uh, regular brethren that I just fought and not well. So you can imagine how this fight's going to go. I think he's he's got a cave up there. And usually he's up on top of the cave. Not seeing him. I know my sneak skill is better than it usually is at this point. Because he's usually seen me by now and is charging already. And he's always here. It's just a regular spawn. But as I say this, my brain is not working correctly. And I may be lying to you because... They have excellent perception. They see me even when my snake skill is high and I'm not getting any indication that he's anywhere around. He's always up there. What the hell? Alright, this update has screwed with a lot of stuff. Fallout 4's update did the same damn thing. It, the AI is different. It's, it's just, there's little tweaks. I don't know who the hell did it. Or if it was intentional. But it did change the gameplay. I mean, if you're just so used to playing Skyrim or Fallout 4, little things like that are welcome. They almost make it into a new game. Or well, they can be frustrating sometimes when you're, you're just so used to things working a certain way and all of a sudden you're having to make adjustments on the fly. I'm obviously not a quick thinker. Oh, that was awesome. Scared me. <laughs> I knew you were here somewhere, you son of a bitch. Come on, fuzzy nut. Oh, nice little juke and job. Oh, what's the matter? You can't get to me? Or he's just running off so he can get his uh get his damn regen back. Get down there. Oh nice. There you go. Whack! Now see that's a companion for your ass right there. Get it! We put him down. Okay, now that's Vilka standing up to the troll like that. That's uh, that's pretty impressive, and that's exactly what I want my my follower to do. Distract, soak it up while I pepper him with arrows. Let's see why. I'm using the arrows I'm using. Oh, because I have completely wiped out my steel arrows. I'm back to iron. Alright, continue to trudge through the snow. Footsies are frozen. What was I watching? Oh, Game of Thrones the other day. They're up in north of the wall. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that show. It's a really good show. But, uh, yeah. They know all about ice and snow up there. This kind of reminds me of that. Although not nearly as bleak as <laughs> some of the areas they go to. I wonder where they shot that. It had to be in, like, freaking Greenland or Iceland or something like that. A lot of uh, glacial activity. There is our destination. Big impressive castle. So there's a bunch of old men just hanging out in this place. In their robes. They're very tough. Don't mess with them. And this is the chest that you put your supplies into. So yeah, getting here is a pain in the ass, but you know, just doing the mission. No biggie. You can go back and talk to Clemic and like I said, I think it, it depends on your level, but I know he's handed me at least 750 gold before for that little bit. Alright, old men, start this party. Oh, 
Who called for the escort? Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. My pleasure. Bless you. Gazun tight. Dragonborn, I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. And this guy, like a lot of people in Bethesda games, can talk you for days. You have shown days. that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. If you like the story, but you want to get into that, do you have the discipline and these temperament guys will keep to you busy for a while? Laid out for you. Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Okay, so they want to see if you are willing. Teach you a little bit, and then have you demonstrate you it. Shout. You speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Row. Fus row. Gotcha. Just gonna clean that up. Einar's burning the floor again. You learn a new word like a master. Mm-hmm. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Nah, well, that is practice. how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, Let's kill a dragon. you can absorb Soak it up. the slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. It's a tap, Einarth. All right. Ooh, fancy. Take a little bit. Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new food. Might want to stand back, Vilkas. Use your unrelenting to blow. force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Yeah. Fun little shout. Go into one of the big banquet halls and do that at the head of the table. That's Again. pretty funny. You can clear a table. Ah! They don't believe after the first time that I can actually do it. <laughs> you learn quickly. I can blow. Once more. Okay. Now do you believe me? Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I have a green thumb. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow to which you Master will Boy. slowly walk to. No hurry, Bori. That dragon's taking over the world.
well, at least there are two doors so we don't have to deal with the Bethesda door uh, shimmy or whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> That's the path to get up to the very tippy top. We're not ready to go there yet. We will now see how you learn a completely new shunt. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. Okay. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. It's like chicken scratch to me. Approach Master Borhe and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Give me your Jamaican spirit. This is my Usain Bolt. Shout. Okay, make sure you change your shout over. I've been guilty of that. Foose rowing when I shouldn't be. Which is a Master major no-no. We'll demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master right. Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before Channel it Channel your Jamaican. I read. Yeah. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself... Okay, thank you. What's you next? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrad. Is it a thumb tomb? Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Okay. All right. All right. So now that we've gotten through all that bullshit... Wind guide you. I think we're going to go ahead and call it a part there. All the old men go back inside. It's cold out here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Ad Cardigan, and we will see you in the next one.